Hello, YouTubers. Duke K Day today. I may do something a little bit different and take a, a look at my Doctor Who Target novelization collection. This is something new I've been collecting recently. But oh uh, well, let's begin. So we start off with Doctor Who and the Daleks, Marco Polo, the Aztecs, Doctor Who and the Dalek Invasion of Earth, Doctor Who and the Zambrara. Uh, Doctor Who and the Crusaders. Uh, this is like the pain in the ass when that happens. It's not like DVDs where they're made out of plastic and they move smoothly. Doctor Who and the Gunfighters. Uh, Doctor Who and the Tenth Planet. Uh, that's the one. Oh, Patrono. Doctor Who and the Cybermen. Uh, Doctor Who and the Ice Warriors. Doctor Who and the Enemy of the World. Doctor Who and the Web of Fear, this is like the target re-release novelization. Now we're into the John Pooey. We've got Doctor Who and the Order Invasion, Doctor Who and the Cave Monsters, Inferno, Doctor Who and Terror of the Ordons. Uh well, the Master Rock. It's a the Mind of Evil. Ugh, I hate this when it's happened. Mind of Evil, Doctor Who and the Cause of Axos. Doctor Who and the Doomsday Weapon, Doctor Who and the Demons, so it's really nice I've completed the uh, Season 8 on Novelization, which is the third John Pertwee season I got to complete on Season 8. Doctor Who, Day of the Daleks, uh, Doctor Who and the Crusaders, Doctor Who and the Sea Devils. Oh shit. Doctor Who and the Three Doctors, Doctor Who and the Tunnel of Monsters, Steelers. Doctor Who and the Space War, uh, Doctor Who and the Spiders, not kind of the Daleks, Doctor Who and the Green Death. So that uh, season 10 was basically the first John Pertwee season I completed in novelization form, so yeah. Uh, Doctor Who and the Time Warrior. Uh, Doctor Who and the Di and the Invasion of the Dinosaurs. Death of the Daleks. Doctor Who and the Monster of Peladon. Uh, Doctor Who and the Planet of the Spiders. So this was the second John Pertwee season I completed on novelization form. Now we're into the Tom Baker era. So we got Doctor Who and the Giant Robot. Doctor Who and the Ark in Space, Doctor Who and the Sultana Experiment, Doctor Who and Genesis of the Daleks, uh, Doctor Who and the Sign. This was the first Tom Baker season I completed in novelization form. Now we're into season 13. Doctor Who and the Loch Ness Monster, The Planet of Evil, Pyramids and Mars, The Android Invasion, with The Brain of Morbius. Doctor Who and the Seeds of Death. Oh, this was the season 13, the second Tom Baker season I complete on on novelization. Doctor Who and the Moscow and Dragora. Doctor Who and the Deadly Assassin. Doctor Who and the Face of Evil. Doctor Who and the Robots of Death. Challenge of Wing Chiang. This season is Tom Baker's third season is nearly completed in novelization. All I need now is the Hand of Fear, and that's it. Now for a season. Doctor Who and the Horror of Fang Rock, Doctor Who and Image of the Fender, Doctor Who and the Sunmakers, Doctor Who and Underworld, Doctor Who and Vision Time. Again, Tom Baker's fourth season is nearly complete on, on novelization. All I need now is the Invisible Enemy. Now for, so we got Doctor Who and the Rival Separation, Stones of Blood, the Androids of Tara, the Omega Factor. No, wait. The Paracrawl, I meant to say. The Arming Getting Factor, again. Uh, Tom, ba uh, Tom Baker's, like, fifth season is nearly completed on uh, novelization. All I need now is the Pirate Plant. Basically, basically, I have nearly all of Tom Baker's story, nearly all the stories from Tom Baker's, like, first five season on in novelization. Yep. So yeah, 
uh, Doctor Who Destiny of the Daleks, Doctor Who The City of Death. Now this had a little bit of a minor damage from snails going out from the acid, so yeah, it looks a bit damaged, but still the book is in still pretty good condition. Uh, Doctor Who and the Horns of Nightmare, uh, Doctor Who and the Leisure Hive, Full Circle, State of Kai, Worries Guy, The Keeper Trucker, Megopolis. Now, like Tom Baker's first five seasons, uh, season 18 is nearly completed in novelization for Lightning Now is Megalos, and that's it. The reason why I don't have a lot of novelizations from Tom Baker's like six seasons as I just consider that as Tom Baker's most weakest season. But I will get it, and I really hope Charlotte does get a novelization at some point. As that's the only Tom Baker story we need now in novelization form, so yeah. Uh, now into the PD scene, we got Cash Velva, Fort to Doomsday, Kinder, Visitation, Earthshock, Time Flight, Ark Infinity, Mordred Undead, The Five Doctors, Where is the D, Frontiers, Redrix and Daleks, uh, Planet of Fire, the Kays of Androzani. Now into the Colin Baker era. There's not much from this era. Got Twin Dilemma, The Two Doctors, Revelation the Daleks. Now into the Sylvester McGoy era. Not as much as like the like the Colin Baker era. Not as much. I don't have many novelizations as what I have with the first five classic episodes. So we got Rest of the Daleks, The Curse of Fenric. And the T, and then we into the Paul McGinnery, so we got the TV movie. I don't have any of the novelizations from the modern series yet, but I will love to get them soon. I just want to complete off, like, get all the novelization to complete off all the novelizations from Tom Baker's, like, first five seasons and get a little bit more novelizations for the Peter Davison era, and then I'm basically done. Then I'll get some novelizations from the modern series, so yeah. That's my entire collection of the novelization of my novelization target novelization collection. Lay now and buy enough. This is Duke Kaido signing off. Bye.